What's up all of my very sexy YouTube video viewers, it's your favorite white kid with an afro, go make a 244, and I'm here today to give you a tutorial on how to create an automatic cactus farm. As you can see the cactus is rolling in now and I got some in my hand. Uh, I've seen a few tutorials on how to do pretty much the same setup, but uh, most of the tutorials that I've seen were very unclear and hard to understand. So I'm going to take a stab at creating a little bit, uh, creating a tutorial that's a little bit better. Uh, I hope you can understand mine, and let's get to it. Alright, so the very first step out of 15, what you want to do is you want to find a place for you to build your cactus farm. I have right here is a little platform, easy, simple, square platform. Uh, for help on choosing where you want to build, uh, the dimensions of the uh, cactus farm will be 21 by 21. And those are the max dimensions. You can make it smaller if you would like, but uh, you don't get as much, and it doesn't work as well. But uh, simply for choosing out where I want to start building out, here's a corner. I've just found one random corner, and then I, uh, I counted with signs. You can count with any method of counting, whatever you want to use. I don't care. But uh, I counted... Uh, so the corner is 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, so on, so on, so on. So I got the 20. And then right after 20 is where I'll mark for the next column in place. And I did that pretty much for every corner. Uh, so after you found a place for you to build your cactus farm, you're ready to move on to the next step. Alright, the second step out of 15 is pretty much the easiest one. All you have to do is where you marked your columns, uh, you start building three block high columns. Very, very simple. After that, move on to the next step. All right, step three out of 15 is another simple one. At the top of each of the columns, you're going to connect them together with a big old platform. Pretty straightforward, should be simple. Once you're done with this, move on to the next step. Step 4 out of 15 is another very straightforward one and should be very simple. What you do is on top of that platform that you just created, create another platform. Yep, I know it sounds pretty useless right now, but you'll see why this has to be done. Alright, go ahead and do that and you know what to do and move on to the next step. Step 5 is another third grade step. All you have to do is create a uh, border around that layer that you just created, just create a border that's one block high all the way around the top of that layer that you just created. And you should be a pro with this by now. Move on to the next step. Alright, step 6 out of 15 is a quick step. All you have to do is on parallel sides, that means two sides that are going in the same direction, uh, you want to create another wall, or another, yeah, pretty much a wall that's one block uh, just running along. See like this is the first one right there and then you just want to make another wall right there and on the opposite side like that. See it's too wide but these sides right there only one wide. Alright should still be a pro with this move on to the next step. Alright step 7 out of 15 isn't even third grade level. This is first grade level. Anyone in the world should be able to do this all you have to do is find the very center of, uh, of your cactus farm platform and dig through both layers. If you can't do that, um, have someone else, someone that's probably out of preschool already and have them do that for you. Very simple. Move on to the next step because you should be done with this already. Now we're on to step 8, which is probably the first step that you actually have to pay attention and listen to what I'm saying. Alright, so you've already dug your hole straight through the middle. Now what you want to do is you want to extend it in two opposite directions, but very specific opposite directions. You want it, see how it's going up and down for me right now? You want it to be going in the same direction as your double wide parallel walls. So you get your double wide there and your double wide there. You want it to extend uh, forward and backwards in the same direction as those walls. And whenever you've mastered this step, move on to the next. Okay, so now that we're finally on to step 9, this is another elementary step. All you have to do is from the middle hole that you've just created on the top layer, 
you want to dig pretty much canals that go all the way to your walls, but not through your walls. Extend, 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 extend. Once you've done this, move on to the next step, and you're almost done. Alright, so now that we're finally on step 10, this is another step that you actually have to listen to me, and it's a little more labor intensive because you have to spend a little more time on it. But uh, what you want to do is start making your lines of sand that your cactus will be growing on. Uh, as you can see, what you want to do is for each like quadrant, because we just broke it into four in the last step, in each quadrant, you want to have the lines going from your double wide wall all the way to that middle canal. So from your walls that are double wide to your middle canal. You want to do that for each quadrant. Once you're done with this, move on to the next step, and we're getting even closer to being done. So now we're on step 11 out of 15, and here's another step where you should listen. Alright, for in between each line of the sands, you want to place a bucket of water, and the water shall flow downward into the middle one, and also in these four middle canals, you also want to place buckets of water at the end. Uh, they should all flow all the way to the middle, and but not fall into the middle. If they fall into the middle, then you've done something wrong. Oh wow. But uh, after, after you've done that, <laughs> move on to the next step. Okay, we finally moved on to step 12 out of 15, and this is where it gets into the late elementary school steps. This is where you sort of have to pay a little more attention than you've been, because apparently... You must have just been sitting there idly drooling on your desk. Because here we go. This is the step where you want to create the objects that will force the cactus to break off and fall into the collector uh, or the receiving canals and eventually into the receiver. Say if the uh, cactus was growing right there, it'll grow too high like that. And then whenever it goes to grow into this third and final stage right there, because it doesn't allow anything to be on its uh, adjacent sides, it'll break off, fall into our canals, and eventually down into our receiver. So, what I like to use for this step is either dirt or sand, because it's easy to uh, place and to remove afterwards, because you don't want it to be there. So you just place two starting in this back corner of each sand row, and then uh, place glass or another object that can float, I use glass because it's see-through and allows light into it. But you can use dirt if you would like. Place dirt, whatever. And then destroy the bottom too. You want to do that and then skip a space because the cactus will be going in between. And then do the same thing. Skip a space. Skip a space. And then each row beside it is going to mimic the exact same thing. And on the opposite side you want to do the same thing. Whenever you're done with this step, Move to the next step, and I'll meet you there. So now we're on step 13 out of 15. This step isn't necessarily vital, but it does help quite a bit. What I do is underneath each piece of glass, I like to place a torch. The reason why this isn't vital is because the cactus will grow without the torches there. But the reason why I like it to, uh, I like the step to be in here is because it'll help the cactus grow faster. Maybe not too much faster, but since this is an automatic cactus farm and you want to be lazy and you want good results, you want to put torches right there and help the cactus grow a little more. And this also helps if you want to make uh, your cactus farm underground. That's pretty much all you need to know for this step. Uh, do this, like I said, do it because I'm telling you to, and then move on to the next step. So now we're on step 14 out of 15. Yep, we only have one more step left. And this is probably the most vital step out of this entire tutorial. You need to place your cactuses. If you don't place your cactuses, you can't get cactuses. Alright, so what you do is, in between the torches that we placed in the last step, place the cactus. Just do this for every single space. I believe this requires uh, a stack and a half of cactus. So go ahead and do that and meet me at the or the 15th and final step. Alright, so we're on our final step and this is probably the most difficult step. You have to pay very close attention. Alright, 
we'll break this step into a few different steps. What I want you to do is let go of your mouse, let go of your keyboard, and sit back. For this step, all you have to do is sit back and wait for your cactus to grow until it gets to its third spot, and it'll break off, fall into our canal, and then down into our receiver. <laughs> As you can see, we've already had a few cactus spawn right there and you just wait and you let yourself receive all of your precious precious green green gold oh there's no oh caught it yeah all right so that was the final step i hope you have learned something i hope you enjoyed my tutorial come back later i'll probably have more videos and such and blah 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 goodbye Sucking on my titties like you wanted me Calling me all the time like Blondie Check out my Chrissy behind It's fine all of the time Like sex on the beaches What else is in the teachers of